I hope you're doing well today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Either way, I'm super glad to have you. So this week's video, we're going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton Montserrat GM backpack. Um, I'm not going to be reviewing it, so if you're interested in that video, I'll make sure to link it in the description box. Today we're going to do a what's in my bag. Um, I've had this suggestion and recommendation many, many times. I always thought it was a good idea, but I shied away from it because I tend to carry a lot of stuff and I wasn't sure how long the video would end up being or how far in depth I should go into everything I carry. Um, but I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to pull everything out of the bag and I'm going to touch on most, if not all, of everything that you'll see here. Um, so before we get started, I wanted to do a quick shout out to my love, Tiki Harles. She's here on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll link her info in the description box as well. She was kind of my inspiration for doing the What's in My Bag because she just done one on her Gucci Disco, which was super cute. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this was the Montsori GM size, and I carried this pretty much when I want to be hands-free. Um, this is my favorite universal backpack. You'll see that in the other video as well. Um, but at first, I kind of had a problem with how small it was. Even though it's the GM model, I didn't think it carried a lot of stuff. But I think it all depends on how you organize it and how you get everything fit inside of it. It's kind of like playing Tetris. Um, so before we look on the inside, peep that hot stamp. This is the one that I was talking about on Instagram. If you follow me there, you'll know what I'm talking about. I had to drive about two and a half hours to the local Louis Vuitton store um, to get something hot stamped. I talked about that on Instagram as well, so you can go over there and get filled in. But I thought it was a perfect match to the patina on the backpack so I figured I would put it on there you know give it a little more personalization um, those are my initials by the way if you did not know but I'm sure you gathered that so we will start with the exterior pocket on the front um, I put the things I need most immediately in this pocket because you know it's easily accessible so we will start with the most popular SLG, I think, in my opinion, is the Louis Vuitton Clay. Um, I put all of my most important cards, like driver's license, um, debit or credit cards, business cards that I need to reach for, insurance card, that sort of thing. Um, I use this thing like every day faithfully. More than likely, I'll have the hook out and it'll be hanging from the bag so I can get it, you know, really quickly and not have to get inside the bag to get to it. But uh, in this backpack, I just tend to put the chain on the inside, keep it zipped up, and put it on the exterior pocket so I don't really have to worry about it dangling. So it's pretty easy to get to. But this is a staple piece for me. I use it constantly. So if you're interested in one um, and you wanted to start building your SLG collection and you don't already have one, I think this is a perfect option. So there's that. Um, next is my old school Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. This thing is super old, um, but I got a good deal on it. I use this thing faithfully as well. It keeps all my most important keys, including the car key fob. There's that. And then I just keep a pack of gum. Orbit Wintermint is my favorite. Keep that in hand. I'm just going to sit stuff to the side so you can see exactly how much stuff it is. I mean, it's quite a bit. And then I always keep my trusty Chanel chapstick in the front pocket. Like this stuff is my favorite. It is expensive, but given it is Chanel, but it's good stuff. So there's that. So that's all I keep in the front pocket besides just like some loose change. You know, if I break a bill and I don't want to undo the whole bag, I'll just throw some change in this pocket. So this pocket comes in handy. Um, so open her up. Now, this is where we get to the good stuff. Here are my favorite sunglasses. These are Gucci's. I got these a few months ago and I have used them consistently. I think these are my all time favorite. They go with everything. Um, they're just really classic. You know, there's nothing like bold about them. They're just really sleek. I'm not sure if I've ever done a close up on these. I just thought they were really, you know, simplistic and they're really stylish. I wear them often. Um, I do love the cases because they resemble the Gucci purses that came out. So I thought that was cool, and the green color was nice as well. 
And what's next? What's next? I guess we'll follow with the Gucci pieces. So here is my vintage Gucci pouch. Um, it is a cosmetic case, but I use it as a clutch sometimes too. It does come in handy. I love this thing. It's super old. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is from like the late 80s, early 90s. I could be wrong because I definitely do not know how to read a Gucci date code. So, <laughs> there the tags are though. There's a little leather one. It's so old, it's separated, so I'd be careful with these pieces. And then there's the paper piece that follows behind it. It's from the accessory collection. And then there's the day code. I have no clue how to read it. So, um, this is pretty much like a miscellaneous pouch for me. It, I do use this for cosmetics or makeup sometimes when I switch between them. I have a few of this size pouch, so I have options. Um, but this one just, like I said, it's miscellaneous. So this one I'll store my little ring light in. And I thought this thing was neat too. I got this off Amazon. It's just a little ring light that clips to your phone. It makes selfies bomb. There's that. I keep a little compact in there. Um, this is actually a vintage brass Cody Airspun compact. This thing is super old. Found it at an antique shop and I loved it. It's just solid. You know, they don't make stuff like they used to. That was a good buy. Um, I keep a little Dolce & Gabbana light blue hand lotion. Sorry guys, the ring light is like right behind me, so it's probably gonna drown some detail out. Um, I'll try to focus in as best I can. But this bottle's kinda old, the logo is like worn away. So, but the stuff is good, it smells great, I use it often. Um, another chapstick, Burt's Bees Classic, that's another favorite of mine. Um, and I am, known for carrying like travel size creams with me always i always have creams with me and if i don't use them i'm giving samples to other people like i love it <laughs> i just love skincare so these are the little like Le lift samples from chanel uh that is probably one of my most favorite and most used creams ever i definitely um suggest it especially for oily skin it's it, it works really well um another chapstick I hoard chapsticks because you can never have too many and they seem to come up missing. Another Chanel chapstick just because you can never have too many. Um, I keep an extra Chanel powder brush just for touch-ups when you're on the go. I've had this one for a while now. Um, I think this is one of my favorite brushes too because it's really sturdy. It applies powders really nicely. And what else is in here? Uh, that is my parking for Chinatown when I was in Chicago. <laughs> and more loose change, go figure. I store change in like every little pouch I have. I was using this as a clutch though that day, so that kind of makes sense. So there's that pouch. And then here's this tiny little like Gucci key pouch. I'm not sure if Gucci calls these clays or not. Um, I thought this was really cute too, the gray combo color. It's just like, it's different. It's really cute. And it's the same exact size as the key clay. I think it's just a little bit more like bell shaped. But this one, I don't use this one nearly as often. Um, my boyfriend's key to his truck, I used to keep in here just to differentiate mine and his because they're exactly the same. But this one, it also has a little chain and a hook, which is cute. I hook it to bags too and use it kind of like a charm. Um, so there's an extra lighter in here. Yes, I do smoke. It's a disgusting habit. I know. There's the ring light charger right there. What do you know? Another chapstick. My God, this is ridiculous. That makes what? Five. That's five now. Jeez Louise. And what do you know? More loose change. That's a, it for that little pouch right there. Um, let's see here. So this one I don't show often and I don't really use it separate. I always keep this in a bag, but this is my little like army green Prada pouch and it's like nylon material. I love this thing. This was also another really good buy. So there's another car key, house alarm key fob, more business cards. Like I keep a lot of my business cards because I think it's more personal. When you frequent places that you shop, to get familiar with the people that you speak with and I feel like you get better service. So I always try to keep my business cards that I'm given so I know people by name when I enter stores. I like to be as personal and polite as possible. Um, 
I always keep, now this is something I always keep on me. It doesn't matter what part of town I'm in, whatever the case. I always keep a knife or something on me for protection. Um, I feel like the day and age that we live in now, guns are necessary in a lot of circumstances. I just have never owned one. Um, I don't feel comfortable with even holding one. Um, I'm open to it though. Like I'm open to learning. I'm open to owning one and learning how to use it and all that good stuff. I just haven't. So, um, I stick with knives and brass knuckles. You know what I'm saying? Like simple as that. <laughs> brass knuckles though. That's hood. Sorry. Okay. So anyways, this is my Louis Vuitton toiletry. Um, this is not the 15. This is the 19. This is the 19 centimeter toiletry case. Uh, this is the one that I use for my makeup. So this one, I keep it pretty stuffed, but I also carry everything, like I said, anything I may need, want, and stuff I use on a regular basis. So this, I'm not sure if I should go through every item in this pouch, but I'll pull most of them out. So I swear by Max uh, Prep and Prime, or AKA Fix Plus, I always have a travel size bottle with me because you never know when you need a refreshment or a touch up. Um, these are my most favorite, like, Chanel lipstick colors, like really nude, really natural. I don't use these a whole lot, and if I do, it's just like a slight dab to give a little bit of color to my lips. But I do not like the feeling of lipstick, I'll say that. Um, this is my favorite MAC Compact. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish. I love this powder, I've used it for years. I will say I am not a fan of the updated compacts. I like the older ones better that had the little push button on the front and they opened. This is my Chanel Compact. This is a good for this is a good one for touch-ups too. I think this one is the Le Beige, and this is Healthy Glow, so it kind of makes your skin look tad luminescent. So I go easy on this one, and it is a really pretty color. I like natural finishes. I'm a big fan of natural finishes. Um, what else? So remember, I told you I'm like infamous for carrying travel size skincare. This pouch has, you know, it's no exception. So I always keep at least a little handful of Chanel um, creams that I favor. So always the Lift, the Blue Serum I also like, and I believe this little one is the Lift for eye. Um, I'm always forever handing this stuff out because I swear by it. People ask me what I use. I always keep samples at hand, you know, to let them try stuff out and they can see for themselves. Just another little tiny Chanel um, makeup brush. It did come in this compact, but it was always in the way when I opened it. So I took the sucker out and I set it to the side. Um, this is the Chanel Hydra Beauty. So I was told to put this on after you do your wash and before your toner. And I've used it and I do like it. It is a really light finish, almost like a water base. So it's not tacky at all. I'm a fan. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So this is the Benefit Their Real Travel Size Mascara. Um, I bought this a little while ago and have like used it maybe once or twice. I was not a fan. I like the formula, but I don't like the applicator. I just didn't have the heart to throw it away. So I've held on to that. Here's another um, small Chanel powder brush. This one I got, I think around Christmas time. I like this one, but it is a tad small. So it takes a little bit more work to do your whole face if you're using it for your whole face. If not, it's perfect for a T-zone touch-up. That's pretty much what I use it for because I have the big one for the full face. Um, this, now I love doing eyebrows. I love, love, love doing eyebrows. So I got the Chanel angled brush for brows. I use this one for touch-ups. Like, you know, people with oily skin, if you feel your brows in, your brows tend to get a little shiny through the day. So blotting sheets help with that and also keeping a little like brow compact with powder and an angled brush for touch-ups definitely helps. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, there's another eye cream from Chanel, good Lord. Okay, so this is a cream sheen glass from MAC. This is my favorite gloss. I don't use it often at all. But when I do, it's definitely a favorite. Look, I haven't used it in so long, it's like stuck. It's a really pretty color. It's a nude color, like a natural gloss. This, what does this say? Is this fresh brew? I don't know. All right, what else? And then here's the infamous Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This, one, this was another buy um, that I heard a lot of hype about. I used it. 
I like the formula, not a fan of the applicator again. Um, honestly, one of my favorite mascaras, I'll talk about this in another video too, but one of them is by Maybelline and the other one is NYX. I am not a fan of like expensive brands mascaras. They seem to be so tarry. I don't know what it is. Um, I always keep a little tiny bottle of Chanel uh, that's the Blue de Chanel for the men. It smells phenomenal. I always try to keep a little bottle of that. I know there's another one in this bag somewhere. I tend to carry multiples of the same thing. I, you just never know. You know, that's my only defense. You just never know what you're going to need. You never know what you're going to run out of. And yes, I'm probably a hoarder, like in bag terms, but that's fine. And then this is the Toiletry 26. This is like another miscellaneous um, pouch for me. I use this as a clutch sometimes too as well. Um, if I'm traveling, I'll use it as like, um, not necessarily a shower caddy, but I'll put like, you know, soaps, whatever the case, you get what I'm saying. It's just a universal pouch for me. I use it for many different things, but right now it's in my bag for extra necessities that I don't want loose in there. So here is a bottle of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Love this stuff. I don't think I've ever mentioned this either, but the Blue de Chanel and the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, this is my all-time favorite combo. More than likely, if you're around me and you smell this mix, this is what I always wear. This is like my signature mix. I love them. And you know who put me on to wearing more than one cologne or for the ladies more than one perfume? Donatella Versace. She said she never leaves the house with less than four perfumes. Now, could you imagine? She picks and chooses her own mix and it makes her own scent. So it kind of gave me the idea to take my two favorite colognes, put them together, and sometimes it may not work. But this two, these two together, I love. Love, love, love. So like I said, this is a miscellaneous pouch. So I usually keep like paperwork, pieces of mail, checkbook, some more business cards. There's my brass knucks. I keep those in there as well. Um, a little notepad because you never know when you need a little piece of paper to write stuff down. Grocery lists especially. Um, more business cards. I always keep a couple ink pens. And I know I've said before, do not carry pens open topped in your bags. Like just do not do it because you're asking for trouble. I know... I always try to keep them in a pouch of some sort so that way, you know, it's not loose in my bag and the top can come off or the top can get popped and the pen can cause damage. I always make sure they're closed and I always try to keep them enclosed in a pouch. Um, so that is it for that one as well. Let's see if I can straighten this up over here. It's getting a little messy, don't you think? Okay, there's that. Put this back in here. We're almost done, you all. So this little thing I found in another antique shop um, out of town. It's just like an old school. I think somebody made this theirself. It's a little coin pouch. And I've had it for a couple years and I love this thing. I would never part with it unless it, it falls apart. But so far, so good. It's held on. And I'm not even sure how old it is. Okay, so last but not least for the SLGs inside of the backpack. So the mini pochette. This one is another favorite of mine. This piece is from 2003 or 2004, I think. Um, it is held up amazingly. All the brass hardware is gorgeous. And this one, I have used it for a little grab and go bag when I don't wanna carry something, but I don't really, I don't know, I'm not a chain. I would rather have like handleless clutch if I'm gonna carry it like that. So this one houses my rechargeable batteries so my phone never dies. Um, I'm not sure where we got these, probably Amazon. Um, they work amazing. I think it takes like two or three hours to charge it full, but they last for days and days and days. And I have two of them, so I ain't never going to be disconnected. What else? What else? What else? Okay, so the rear pocket. Um, that's it, you guys. I took most of the stuff out of that rear pocket, and I've stated this in the video about this bag, too. It's just a receipt. Um, I don't tend to put a lot of stuff in this rear pocket of the backpack because it weighs it down, and then it just kind of like collapses within itself, so I stay away from that. Um, but yeah, guys, this is pretty much everything that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I said, you never know when you're gonna need something or what you're gonna need, so I try to have all my bases covered. Um, it's probably a little extra when it comes to the freaking chapsticks 
and the skincare, but guess what? They are both good for you, so ha. Um, but with that being said, guys, I am going to go ahead and close this video out. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll link all of the um, extra info below in the description box, like my email, Instagram account. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you leave those below in the comment section and I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will chat with you all in the next one. Bye guys.